Chizzy lit park cash. That gangster park cash. She'd feel me. Yo, 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 it's your boy OG Shizzy Brickle. This is another WTF news slash Shizzy Lit Podcast conglomeration in one big old gumbo pot of action. Anyway, PMB Rock situation still simmering all over the internet and shit. Rest in peace to my man once again and shit. That's crazy. I've been watching more interviews than I ever watched the yo and shit. You the feel me? Yo, same sturdy as a bitch. Well, that's why niggas came at him. That little DJ Academics interview. You the feel me? I ain't saying the DJ Academics fault. But I think he put the motherfucking karma on it, so I think he jinxed himself with that interview and shit. Like it's like you, it's like you taunting the motherfucking niggas that specialize in robbing rappers and shit. So you saying I ain't never been robbed and I ain't never this, but you know, man, listen, you you put the whole robbery beacon on you, like I was saying on my other joints. You know, feel me? If you want to be a rapper, the robbery beacon, you you already iced out. You know, feel me? You known for being iced out and gripped up and shit, you know, feel me? So niggas gonna try you at any cost. That's why niggas straight shot him, which is fucked up. Because niggas believed him. He moved sturdy. So niggas believed in his sturdy. As niggas, niggas trusted his words. So niggas came at him, you know, feel me? Straight shot. Straight shot the niggas. So they ain't gotta worry about shit, you know, feel me? Like, like when niggas scared, that's what they gonna do and shit. So you know, feel me? You moving around easy. You moving around making it easy to get got even though you gripped up. It don't really matter if you gripped up for real life. Cause if a nigga got a bigger grip on his grip out first, this is what happens and shit. So if you off point chilling with your peoples and all that type shit, you ain't thinking you in no area where this shit gonna pop off at even though game wants you about that Roscoe situation. You know what I mean? So I guess the more and more you didn't go through no shit, the more and more bulletproof you felt, or the more and more exempt you felt from that shit. And this is the end result. How many motherfuckers you guys see go through this shit? You the feeling? Before you the feeling? Before that happened and shit. Like it's it, uh, unfortunately that's just how it is. I mean, you can make that choice at your own risk, and you see what happens when niggas make that choice at their own risk. You gotta move right if you want to move like that. It's certain really like if you just going out and you in them streets and them trenches, the jewel wells and shit ain't necessary, bro. That's for videos. Big boy award shows, events, and all that type shit. You can't be doing that shit when the nigga can snatch a chain off your neck and you change this nigga whole life forever. But nigga got a thousand dollars to his name and got bills on the way, so that thousand dollars ain't even a whole thirty thousand. And you got a chain that a nigga get a hundred and fifty thousand, two hundred thousand from. You got a watch that a nigga get fifty thousand from. You got two chains that a nigga. Come on, bro, nigga taking your whole neck off with that motherfucker. So you know what I mean? It's unfortunate how the world is today. But you can be in places where you don't gotta go through that. I was telling niggas, you gotta be in the same place with everybody rich. You gotta be in fucking the area where everybody rich and shit. You know what I mean? Richer than you, preferably. So these motherfuckers will be looking at you like shit. We need to help him out, let alone trying to take something from him. We need to give him charity. That's how I want it. I want to be around motherfuckers so rich, my little couple millions, hundred millions don't mean shit. I want to live around billionaires while I'm a millionaire. That's the safest you can be. Up on the mountains and shit you never even motherfucking heard of. These motherfuckers in locations exclusively. You know what I mean? It's whole communities and towns you don't even know about because they so rich and shit. That hid them bitches away. You know feel me? So motherfuckers like us can't get through that. I don't even want to see a motherfucker like us. You know feel me? So, I mean, unfortunately, that's the world in these and shit. But you can definitely take precautions for that. But you be asking for shit when you do shit like that. You know what I mean? Nigga don't never like hearing about nobody getting shot and killed and robbed and all that shit. Just try to have a good time and shit. But goddamn, the example is there. I mean, the, the, the example is there. And it's unfortunate that it happened right at the little interview when he said it. So I got to think the interview did it. You know, feel me? You put the karma on yourself, man. You put the energy, you put that type of energy on yourself when you said that shit. You did. So. After that interview, that shit should have motherfucker sparked the motherfucking light in your brain and be like, yeah, maybe I should start, bro. You were on this side, listen, man. You was, you was, you was, you was, you was playing, man. Like, I don't know what else to say. I mean, rest in peace to PMB Rock and to all the family, friends, kids, 
all that shit is a sad situation. But goddamn, bro, niggas gotta stop putting themselves in them situations, man. It's like you trying to see. It's like you taunting the bullshit. You seen the, you feel me? You seen richer, bigger, tougher niggas do it. You know what I mean? It's a. I don't know how you thought you was special, bruh. I hope everybody else in the future take heed to this shit. I don't want to hear about nobody else getting killed like that, man. Come on, now. Come on, now. Too many motherfuckers that went down before this shit. You know what I mean? It's your boy, OG Shizzy Briggs. Well, I'm out. Get eggs me. WTF News, hosted by OGSB.